Hello, thanks for checking out Mr. Red's video. Today we're going to be looking on something from Delta Math about graph storage. And I'm going to give you two methods on how to solve graph storage problems from Delta Math. So let's take a look. Alright, here's our first example. Doing a snowstorm uh, to show, track the amount of snow on the ground. When the storm began, there was four inches of snow on the ground. The snow fell at a constant rate of two inches per hour until another four inches had fallen. The storm did stop for five hours and then started again at a constant rate of three inches per hour uh, for the next four hours. As soon as the storm stopped again, the sun came out and melted the snow for the next four hours at a constant rate of five inches per hour. Make a graph showing the inches of snow on the ground over time using the data that Castro collected. So what you want to do is break it down part by part, piece by piece, and one graph. So let's start here with the first part. Uh, when the storm began, there was four inches of snow on the ground. So there's four inches of snow, is where it begins. So on your graph, you start on the y-axis here, right here at four. And I put a dot there to show you where I'm starting. Now if it says zero, then you can start here at zero. So the next part, snow fell at a constant rate of two inches per hour until another four inches had fallen. Okay. So with this method, we're going to just count the boxes or count that slope from the last part, last point to the new point. Okay. So first, I'm going to figure out about where the new point should be. So you see how it says four inches had fallen? Well, if you look at the graph, the inches are over here on the right. And if you go from four to another four inches, that's eight. So we're gonna count until we get to this blue line. Now you don't have to draw the blue line, but you gotta count until you get up to eight inches of height. Okay? And it said two inches per hour. So that's two out two inches every hour. So you would go this way and have two inches every hour. There you go up two over one, up two, over one. So you get two inches per hour, and you get right there till you get to eight, and then you stop. All right. So during the uh, the next part is the storm then stopped for five hours. So this part is easy. It just stopped. That means it didn't go up or it didn't go down. It just stopped. Melt, nothing happened, it just stopped for a total of five hours. So the height didn't change for five hours. So all you gotta do is see if you go five hours from two, that's gonna be seven hours. So you just keep a flat line for uh, five hours until you get to seven. So the height won't change. And again, you don't have to have the blue line, uh, you definitely don't want it in your answer. You just want to draw the black line here. Alright, the next part is then stated, uh, started again, I'm sorry, started again at a constant rate of three inches per hour for the next four hours. So it started to snow some more and it went up three inches per hour for the next four hours. So we want to go now. Notice the difference between this and the previous one. The other one was four inches. Now we're looking at four hours. So instead of going uh, horizontally with our line and going up, we're going uh, vertically with our line and going to the right here. So we went over five hours, right? And now we're going to count the slope, which is three inches per hour. So you go up three and over one, up three and over one, and you come over two. So you go up three, over one, up three, over one, up three, over one, up three, over one. Okay. Alright, now the next part of the story. As soon as the storm stopped again, the sun came out and melted the snow for the next four hours at a constant rate of five inches per hour. Okay. So where would four hours from now be? Well, Again, it's hours, 
So we're going to go to the right four hours. One, two, three, four. And we're going five inches uh, per hour. But now instead of going up, we're going down. Okay. So we're going down five over one, down five over one, down five over one, down five over one. Okay. And again, you don't need the blue line, just put that there so you can gauge. Okay, so that's the first method. Um, this should be a final answer on the first question. All right, now let's take a look at another method. Now, you can use, um, this will be a different type of problem uh, as far as the, the scenario, but it's the same thing. So you use either method on any type of problem. Alright, Addison left the house at the zero at time zero and drove for seven minutes to the store. At a speed of two blocks per minute. Then she stopped and went to the store for five minutes. From there she drove the same direction at a speed of three blocks per minute until she got to the bank, which is six blocks away from the store. She stopped at the bank for seven minutes, then drove home at a speed of five blocks every minute. Make a graph of showing the number of blocks away from home that Addison is X minutes after she leaves her house until she gets back home. Alright, so again, we're going to break this apart piece by piece. First, we're going to start with Addison left the house at time zero and drove seven minutes to the store at a speed of two blocks per minute. Okay, now, instead of trying to figure out, just count step by step by step here, we're going to figure out the total number of minutes and blocks that she went, okay? So we know the total number of minutes is seven minutes, but she went two blocks per minute. We don't know the total number of blocks. So that's what we're going to do to figure it out. We're going to set up a ratio and just multiply, okay? So the first ratio is two blocks per minute, okay? And then we got the seven minutes total. So this is how I'm going to write it out. I'm going to make the seven minutes a fraction. I'm going to put M per minute and put it over one. Then the per minute thing, the two blocks per minute, to be for blocks per one minute. So I set this up and I put these um, letters in here. They're not variables, they just let you know what you have, but you're going to cancel them out like variables so that you can figure out that your final answer should be blocks. Okay? And you always want to set it up so that the letters can cancel each other out one on top, one on the bottom, and one in the numerator, one in the denominator. Okay? So, cancel out the M and then multiply, we have 7 times 2, which is 14, which is the B, and then 1 times 1, which is 1. So you divide 14 divided by 1, and since you still have the B, it's 14 blocks. So we're going to go over 7 minutes and 14 blocks. So you go over 7 minutes and up 14 blocks. Now we got that. Now this next one is similar to the previous one. Then she stopped and went to the store for five minutes. So she's not going away or she's not coming closer. She just stopped and went to the store for five minutes. Now it looked like this. You go over, count five blocks, five minutes this way. Now the next part, it says from there she drove to, in the same direction at a speed of two blocks per minute until she got to the bank six blocks away. Notice how they swapped up the things. You know, before they had the seven minutes and for the two blocks per minute. Here they got three blocks per minute and still six blocks. But you should be able to tell which one is which there. So we've got six blocks, right? And we got three blocks per minute. Okay. So instead of minutes, they told us blocks. We gotta figure out how much time it took. So we're gonna start with the six blocks and put it over one as a fraction. And then multiply it times Instead of having blocks over minutes, we won't have minutes over blocks, so the B's cancel out. 
Last time the M's canceled out, here's what how these E's canceled out. Blocks per minute. So it counts out the blocks per minute, and then do six times one, which is six, and the M is here. So that's what we're looking for, minutes. So six divided by three, it'll be two minutes. So we're gonna go two, over two minutes and then up six blocks. And that's what that looks like. You go over two minutes and up six blocks, and you got your and you connect the dots. Here. All right. Next, we're going to uh, see what she does next. She just stopped at the bank for seven minutes. Stopped at the bank for seven minutes. So I'm gonna put that on the graph. Stop and count seven minutes this way. Then next, then she drove home, home is the key thing here, at the speed of five blocks every minute. So it didn't say how far, how many blocks she drove, it says five blocks every minute because she's going home. If you go back and take a look at the graph, she's 20 blocks away from home. So if she's going home, she's got to go a total of 20 blocks. Okay? So we know home equals. 20 blocks. So we can set up our ratio with 20 blocks over 1 times 1 minute over 5 blocks. Then the blocks cancel out. 20 times 1 is 20. And then 1 times 5 is 5. And then 20 divided by 5 is going to be 4. 4 minutes. Finally, we just go ahead and graph that on the graph. Okay, we go down 20 blocks and over four minutes. And that's it. That is graphing stories. Two methods there. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.